Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Are You Lie Like Album Listening Party. So I've been looking forward to this moment. This one, this album is going to be special. I know it's special for her because she's wrapping up her 20s with it. I've already reacted to Lilac Queen and Celebrity, the music videos as well, so I'm not gonna include them in this listening party, you can check them out on your own. But still we have plenty of tracks right here, so super excited, I've seen this, um, let's call it a preview, a spoiler video by Yi Ji Dong that she did where she listened to the album, some of the songs. So yeah, really looking forward to it, let's begin now, but before we jump in as always guys, don't forget that on my Patreon you can see more than 500 exclusive reactions to IU Hyori's Bed and Breakfast, then live stages by IU, K dramas featuring IU like My Mister, Hotel Delina, other content, other K dramas like It's Okay to Not Be Okay, other group reactions as well. So if you'd like to see all of that, make sure to check it out. The link to my Patreon is going to be down below. Now, the second track is called High Spring by and Korean poem. Annyeong poem. That's kind of like... I feel like it's this... It's the theme track of the concept of this album. Because because in Coin, in Lilac, it was about spring, right? It's about the spring leaving, or the train leaving, the first train leaving, but then the, the new train of her 30s arriving in Lilac, right? You remember? In the music video, so... Uh huh, interesting. I'm gonna be curious to find out the meaning of this one. Let's begin. <laughs> Very gentle beginning. I was unsure of my sound here. Mm -hmm. mm, 80s. I, I, I'm hearing 80s. <laughs> very slow one. Oh, it's five minutes, 524. Wow. <laughs> trying to so while I'm listening to the song I'm like looking around like that I'm looking around like that da, 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 da. I'm trying to not to not look at her too much because I smile because I just smile when it like or I don't I don't know I can I can just yeah you wanna you wanna play the staring game I can do it I can do it The note, how it increases gently in the intensity like that towards the end. Right? I just, I just love when she does that. I 
think I already know what the song is about. It's about her beautiful 20s saying goodbye to the beautiful 20s, right? sounds like it could be a great soundtrack and and <laughs> while I was listening I was imagining it being a soundtrack for Hotel Delano of course one of the episodes of Hotel Delano I think I think it could fit pretty well we'll see we'll we'll see the meaning first and then Oh, hold on. Hold on. What was that? Wow. Really like this part. Very beautiful melody. Oh, and the instrumental here. Listen. second outro with just music slowly fading out slowly uh let me just hear this thing okay So she changed the key here, right? For the last chorus. It sounds like that to me. Yeah, 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 
now? Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right, so now let's get to the lyrics for it. Okay. Very gentle intro, very gentle outro. Is it a love song? Is it a love? Hmm. Let's keep going. Just like I said, I think it might be about uh, leaving her 20s, and I'm still holding on to that theory. I'm trying to find the meaning in, in these lines that would confirm that. And maybe some of it kind of makes sense, like her 30s came as a spring, uh, her, mm, or maybe not, or maybe not. Let's keep going. Or maybe not. Okay, okay, let's go.
Yeah, it's a, it's a key change. It's certainly a key change here. Alrighty, alrighty, so I'm not sure about the meaning of this one. On the surface level, it seems like a love song, but I got a feeling there could there could be something more in it. Mm. So you guys tell me, what, what do you think about it? Maybe, maybe she said something about the song, maybe on her Twitter or something, so let me know. Now, when it comes to the song, so... I, I really enjoyed the outro part. I really, really liked it because let me just, let me hear it again. The yeah, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I know why exactly, like and I can pinpoint why I like this part and not necessarily everything else that came before it. I think it's mainly the instrumental. If you're noticing here we have A retro sounding instrumental right but then here all of a sudden yes there's a key change it makes it a little more exciting she sings more high notes in the outro part but I think still the main because her voice is still the same <laughs> in the in everything that came before it it's the instrumental It sounds, maybe it's still retro, but to me personally, it sounds less retro. There's some kind of, I don't know what it is, but it, it's like some kind of ambient sound that's present. There's um, a very gentle rock guitar. If you listen closely, you can hear it. So it just sounds less retro. And because of that, I like this part more. So I really don't know. I don't know what I think about the song because I loved the outro part, the final chorus. But the previous ones, I'm just, if you've been following me, you know that I'm not a big fan of retro. So I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know because I want to hear the outro over and over and over again. I mean, the final chorus. But to listen to the whole song because of it, maybe, maybe not. We'll see, we'll see. Right now, I'm really unsure about this one. But yeah, once again, I really, really loved the final chorus. The melody is beautiful. The instrumental was pretty nice as well. I enjoyed it. So yeah, yeah, something like this. This was High Spring by. Now let's move on to the next track. Now, thank you guys so much for watching and for listening to this album together with me. And uh, I'll see you all Aaron Aries, in my next video. As always, take care. Keep listening to great music. Keep supporting IU and love. Mm -hmm.